Turning left, warming up the tires here or there, like in these two, two triangles, and go there on the start line. Awesome. So this is the, the initiation line and also the finish line. Yeah. So you can see the yellow uh, walls. This is the, the outside. The, the, actually, this is the zones marked on the wall. Uh, oh, so. Do, yeah, you do a like, oh, oh. lap. When you finish, you're going one lap and exit to the tunnel. Okay. Currently preparing for the first day of driving tomorrow. It's Thursday night. Um, I'm organizing, uh, waiting for the guys. They are flying and landing in a bit, about 30 minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. How is it? <laughs> What's this going on? Now we are sitting on the rack rear. If we will have top 32 drivers, <laughs> it's gonna be great. It will. Good luck judging this weekend. Thank you. Good luck with the driving. Thank you. So, there was only two runs for us this time. Uh, first practice is done. We are uh, changing the gear differential ratio. I had a little bit struggle getting out to the wall. I have to left foot brake a lot. So, get some more speed on the wheels and it will be easier for me to adjust out to the wall and uh, do less left foot braking.
second practice run done. Uh, I was driving twin with the uh, Benedicta Strobo. Did the lead run, felt very good on that. Switched to do the chase position and suddenly my brake pedal feels very stiff, so super hard. I was trying to chase him, but the car just slowed me down so I couldn't keep up with him. Uh, and after the run, the car just stopped instantly. And the more I pushed the brake, the more it kept the car um, on lock, so. I take the main cylinder, blew a seal. Uh, his brakes got hard uh, in the middle of a run. So we're guessing the seal broke and it locked the brakes. And then he pumped it so hard it went past the seal again and now it won't seal at all. Brakes don't seem to lock up anymore. That's good. Maybe it just was some minor issues. So at least that's good. fixed all the issues with the brakes. Um, the car feels good. After we changed the ratio, it's much easier to fill all the zones. Now it's just time to have fun and uh, go for that perfect line. And Nielsen firing in big initiation, big angle. He's in the wall. He's absolutely smashed the car to pieces again. These guys have no respect for the back ends of these drift cars right now as he fires through that front clearing point. Absolutely nailed as Oran Nielsen dangles the back bumper off the back end. <laughs> can't make it to the outside zone starts to pick up the pieces starts to join the dots once again that's, that's yeah that didn't go as planned the good line all the way made initiation hit the wall dismantled the whole rear uh, so it felt good and hit the inner zones good and coming through the outer zone four and through the transition to five I couldn't see where I was because there was smoke and uh, the, the wall is white so I was confused with where I was. So you were blinded by your own smoke, basically. Yeah, and I thought I was going to hit the wall, and I left off. So, yeah. Opposite of opposite drift is good drifting, and that's what we're about to see now. With Oren Nielsen, oh, he's going oh, in for a wow, big angle this. entry. Oren oh. Nielsen's going for it here. This wow. man has been surprising us all year, and once again he does it. Look at this! Oh, what a flick as he comes through that inner zone. As now Oren Nielsen gets himself back onto the wall again. The back end of that car has been reattached more times than the wheels have been changed. As Oren Nielsen fires through the middle of the circuit into that outside zone, and collects the second to last one. He's going for this one. We've seen him up in the scores before, high in the order. As he goes across the line, Oren Nielsen with a first time all year. I've been saving this all year to, to make Dave Egan eat his own words. Oh, oh you see?
said it was a bad run, get me, Dave. Get me some ketchup. Get, get he's, me he's, some... Second qualifying run done. How relieved are you now? Very much. Yeah, that was Man, crazy. That was fun. And I have the best team. So tomorrow we're going to meet Max Miller in top 32. It's yeah, going to be a he's tough a battle. Good he's a good driver. So, I mean, the most important thing for me was just to get in the game, to drive in front of uh, sold out the arena. It's going to be incredible. I was stupid, us. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm so happy, uh, what a relief. I was quite nervous, straightening in the uh, first run. Tried to keep my calm, have fun, and uh, that worked. So I felt I did a pretty decent job. Uh, the first inside zone, missed it a little bit. So if I had filled it out, it would have been a higher score. But I can't complain, sixth place, super happy. And the team is working with the car, getting it ready for tomorrow. It's gonna be a good day. Top 32 practice and then a filled out arena with 11,000 spectators. It's gonna be huge. Also happy for this guy. He scored a 93 in his first. We are P5 and P6. So that must be good for the Norwegians. <laughs> Wushy wushy! Wushy! <laughs> <laughs> You're ready already, aren't you? Always ready. Yeah, good. Find their way into the, the grandstands, which is great. <laughs> Practice stuff. Yeah. Keep it fun, relaxed, and uh, hopefully we can get a long way today. one nut just felt a really weird bump in my transition so this is obviously the reason
This is our second rear bumper this weekend. It's one from the last events. We have just brought it with us because we know from experience that the tracks with the concrete, we always lose the bumpers. So let's see how many we have after today. Today, a lot of spectators. Been an hour just signing hero cards and meeting a lot of great people. Um, sold some merchandise. Ready for top 32? Yeah. The car is ready and I'm feeling ready. So, whatever happens, just keep it fun. Too sure I want any part of that, but now he's got to get back into it. Nielsen with a nice switch in direction there. Nielsen looking like he's <laughs> judges and Max Miller straighten a little bit on the inside. Now it's got to be a big dive from. <laughs> Lost out of zone. I'm gonna put another point in here that Max Miller's car after the finish line hasn't moved under its own power. Ah, okay, so maybe there's more to that than me. See, right, here we go. Let's say look back at the replay. Oren Nielsen's front bumper was on the wall there. He look at this playing a dangerous game as he fires through. That's a big old car to be firing through. As he gets that transition done absolutely perfectly, he positions the car, then he can't get that car back into the outside zone. <laughs> Outside zone, Miller very wide. <laughs> That's gonna and that was the contact with, with the with, with the car, yeah. With I, the inside, with the, with the inside, or was it contact with Miller? Nice initiation from Oran Nielsen. Max Miller not probably as deep as we'd like to see him. Oran Nielsen catches a load of understeer. Look at that. I liked my speculation, but this is more factual. Look at this. Look how close he is. Bam! Yeah. Hits him right there, right in front of and the camera. And all of a sudden, then the oil is starting to pour onto yeah, the wheel. Yeah, we're gonna see it better on this camera angle. Sorry, Dave. Watch this. Ready? Hits the wheel. Watch the bumper. Bam! That I think that was the contact with the oil cooler, and we see the oil cooler, you know, on that. Going to be a split decision, and it's a one more time between Oren Nielsen and Max Miller. Getting pushed back to the paddock. 
by my team. We tried to fix it, but the engine won't start. This is not the way we want it to end. I think the engine is blown. I'm a little upset with myself. I did a very good lead run. Andreas, the spotter, he told me that I had the advantage. So all I had to do was make a safe run. I think I forgot that when I was on the start line. My mind was just go all in. That's what I did. I think he was a bit slow up to the first uh, corner, so I was on his rear bumper and when I initiated I got so much grip I struggled to keep the car sideways. Did that through the course, struggled to keep the car sideways and I actually hit him in his transition. My oil cooler cracked when I hit him. That meant that I was draining the engine for oil. Going through a corner, I didn't know this. Kept full throttle, felt the car was just starting to power down. Rolling after the start line, the car shut down. Coming out of the car, I saw all the oil on the track and I knew that the game is over. I've been uh, working myself this year to just release the pressure and stay focused. That can go both ways because now I was too focused so I just need to learn the lessons I think from next year I will repeat the messages from my spotter so yeah we just need to work on the little stuff keeping that in mind looking back at the season it's been one hell of a season some very good memories from Ireland Austria where we unfortunately break the gearbox Sweden where I went airborne and uh, that's the team victory getting the car back to the line uh, Riga third in qualification and uh, the fifth place in total so we need to celebrate that I think we will come back even stronger next year anyways Arjan it's been great to be your spotter this year as always you're the best spotter <laughs> no <laughs> <Thank> doubt <you. laughs> just have to thank uh, my team and my partners and what an incredible year after all and met a lot of great people new friends in this game truly an honor to be a part of the drift master scene can't wait to get back next year <laughs> That's it guys, traveling home. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more content this winter. We will do some fun stuff and make some behind the scenes. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.